everybody, this is Bazker back with another episode of RimWorld. And we had left off with um, setting up a bunch of farms and uh, getting some uh, more food produced. And um, we built a TV and we built a chair. And that kind of thing was what was going on. It's been several days since I've played. I've uh, made some... Uh, banished videos and was doing some other things so it may take me a second here to um, kind of get my bearings but we're just gonna start playing and see what we got going on One, two three four five five and hopefully we won't see any crashes I know a lot of people have been talking about um, the EDB bar uh, colonist bar causing crashes in their games I haven't experienced it yet myself hopefully I don't um, oops I can see something we need to do right there Presumably, this means we have a no roof area up here, and that is a fact. I'm not sure why I did that. Probably just to keep stuff from uh, growing on this, or from keeping this stuff from growing was probably what was going on. Um, I really probably should be thinking about putting in some sort of defense system. Um, now, ideally, I would like to build in a little more of this first, but. Let's see, I'm not sure if I've got the materials to do that or not. I've got some batteries, but I may end up wanting to get rid of batteries at some point in time. I did set up a switch so I could turn them on and off, so we will turn them off here at some point in time. And we do have quite a bit of meat, so that's good. I don't think any of this is human meat. Looks like it's all muffalo meat. Got a normal chair, and what our TV end up getting? I guess it doesn't have the quality associated with it. Um, it doesn't tell us how much joy it generates either, but I'm assuming it does generate joy. And our indoor temperatures are eh, not too bad. I, I do have this one turned off. I could easily turn it back on. And in fact, I might. We've got the power to spare. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on, and I'll set it at 60, I guess I should have left it, whoops, 66 on this one. No? Let's if I go in the right direction. There we go. We'll throw it and turn that on, and then that way we have it. Um, probably ought to think about installing some more lights. I don't want them in the bedrooms, but they do get um, upset when they have to work in the dark, so... Maybe one right there. Looks like that'll reach up there. I'll go ahead and put one up there. And I don't generally put one in my um, freezer, but I'm kind of thinking maybe that wouldn't be such a bad idea. I'm going to go ahead and put one there. And I am going to deconstruct that piece of power condo because we don't need it for anything. We have batteries sitting in here earlier, so what that's for. And let's put another one. Let's just put it right down here. Okay. Now let's see. Now how much wood do we have? 311. Wood's definitely not the material of choice for building um, structures from a security standpoint, but I'm not sure. Do I, I am making. Marble. Go ahead and set that up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and use marble. It's going to be a slightly slow process, anyways. Let's see. Let's double check. So limestone, marble. So I had 20 marble, is all. But I got 180 limestone. What was I making previously? I got limestone. Look at this again. Is that what I told this to make was limestone? Okay, yes, limestone. Not sure where I saw marble. Might have just been because I had some. So we'll use limestone. Um, we'll get them to uh, craft up some more, because this is going to take more than 180, that's certain. But where do we want to build this? Maybe we'll use the planning tool first. We got a piece of a wall here, and we got something here we could kind of do. Um, 
perhaps if we did something like Nah, I don't know if I really like that idea. Um, I don't mind the idea of using this for something, but I need to build differently. So maybe something like this. Like this. Just deconstruct this, maybe. I like to generally set up... I think I'll go ahead and close that off. We'll use it as some sort of a room. Um, now this is just the planning tool, so nothing's going to get built using this. Um, I do like to kind of set up like a kill box type situation. Um, I don't have any particular design that works well for me, but usually I try to do something like... Um, something like this. So like where this is like a an outlet, so let's say like an outlet down here. Um, oops, I actually wanted to do that too. And then what I would do is so we do something like this, like this, and we put doors at these sections here so our people can just walk out. And it may not be right here, but we'll do something along those lines. And our people can just walk out, but generally speaking, raiders will take the path of least resistance, which is uh, usually through the openings here. It's not always so. I have had them actually start knocking down the doors and such, but it doesn't always happen that way. And then I think I'd do another one down like this. Probably block it off there. Um, actually, no. What we would do is leave this open. And then this would be where the people can come down into. And then from here we could set up uh, some sort of a... You know, maybe we wouldn't even want that. But down here we set up like a... Uh, some sort of a bunch of turrets or something. Um, probably, in fact, that would be exactly... And would use in all these spots here. We'll fill them in with um, chunks and then that way it slows all the people down and sometimes what I'll even do is I'll come up another section like right here I'd come up more than I need to and I'd put a turret in and a turret in and then that way as people are walking up the turrets are shooting at them um, that works really well I have tried using traps occasionally I'm not a big fan of them uh, my animals tend to walk over them so I lose dogs that way and then occasionally I'll get um, a person that walks over them and that's you know just as bad so if not worse so I usually don't build the traps. I have done it in the past, and I may do it again. But I don't know if I want to do that in this one or not. Um, let's do like, maybe if I did something like this, and then I built. I usually build like a wall that kind of um, to kind of uh, corral the turrets. Oops, I've been too far over. Um, and then if they explode, the walls take the brunt of the force and the things next to them don't generally get damaged. Um, the one downside is, is when I do this, is um, if I put them right back here, then they can't shoot off in these angles here. Um, but I do believe I used the mod, where am I at here, structure, yeah, I did put in the steel embracers, so, I mean the embracer system, so what I could do is put in, uh, like, walls like that here, so here, here, and here, all the way across, and then maybe put the turrets behind them, that's a possibility, I've never done that before, that might work out really well. Somebody probably out there going, no, 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 you don't want to do that. <laughs> and if that's the case, uh, let me know in the comments, because this probably isn't getting done this episode anyways. So um, I'm just kind of laying out a plan here. Um, so if you think that's a terrible idea, do let me know.
um, if you got screenshots or anything to where you think um, where you might take a look and you say oh yeah this is the way you should do it um, you know this works out really well let me know and there's not supposed to actually be any openings in the fronts of these for the ones I've used in the past and then what I do is I actually close them off in the back and so our turret's set in these little cubby holes um, that's probably too far back on these would need to be one there because you don't want them walking down here. So they come in like this and then as they get through here they just start getting bombarded by people and may even bring it up and come up around over here too. But for now I'm just going to plan that out like that and we'll see where that takes us. Um, we'll need a lot more stone before we can uh, really worry about doing that anyways because we need to build the outer walls first. Some of this may have to change too based on ground conditions. Um, some of the ground may not be buildable. I haven't double checked that. Um, maybe like something like this. And actually that would probably actually be our outlet. We'd just build an outlet or something there unless I put another kill box in. I try not to build more than one kill box, so I'd like just one major entrance for my stuff. And then, generally speaking, even if they land over here, they still want to walk over here and come in. Um, but, I will want some turrets and stuff probably out in this area anyways, in case we get people that actually either manage to get through the bar uh, barricades, or people who um, uh, come crash land in here and start attacking us as possibilities too that happen. So I kind of think that... Um, oh, got a big old opening here. I guess I should do something about that too. We do have some components and stuff here. Some, and we got a geyser here. We might actually want to use that. So maybe we should do, oh, I don't know, something like this. I did not realize that. There is a maximum length of how far I can draw that. I thought it was the edge of the map, but that's not it. Who is our crafter? I mean, I think this falls under crafting. Stone cutting, yes. Um, it is Theo here, and we got him cooking all the time. Oh, do we have anybody else who could craft? Four, that's not bad. We'll set that to a four. Go ahead and set that back to a three for now. Um, ooh, that's even better. Um, he's doing construction repair. Yeah, let's do that. Oops, let's go ahead and do this. And I'll set him to a three on craft for now. And that's a two, and that's a two. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works. Oh, we got a squirrel in here. He might end up eating our food, so let's see. Let's hunt him. It's Rambler's job. He should be out there, and uh, he should have been. I guess he already went through his timing tick there to find who he wanted to, uh, what job he wanted to do. Let's go ahead and start trying to build in our wall. We're not using the blocks for anything else at the moment, so this shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, so see, we're already going to overshoot, but that's okay. And... Come down, we'll go like right here, and I'll put a door in here. And this gives us the option to go ahead and building in a kill box later, too. Let's start with that. And then, where's he taking the blocks? Oh, I got him storing the blocks all the way up there, which is great, except for the fact that it's too far away. He can't, I want him to be able to take a block and then pick it up and take a block and take it back. Um, 
Oh, we got a boar over here that died. We'll do something about that. Let's go put a door here and then build a stockpile here, maybe. Or maybe even just a temporary one right here for the stone cutting or here. That might work okay. Now one thing I'm not sure, if I put in like, say I put in a stockpile right here and I set it to stone blocks and maybe for now actually what I do is I set it to just the limestone blocks. If I set the priority of this to normal and have the one on the outside set to preferred if he would still take it here simply because it's closer or if he would haul it off elsewhere. I'm not sure. I haven't tested that. What do I have this one set to? I have this one set to preferred already. So let's just see. Whenever he goes back to make blocks, we'll see if he takes it down here or if he takes it up over here. Um, I'm going to guess that he's going to take it over here. I don't think that the system set up to do anything different. So I do believe I did set the skill. Ooh, I did not set the minimum cooking skill for this one. I may have did it for one and not the other. Um, Theo is 11 and Doug is a 4. So we don't want Doug cooking anything. And I, b I do believe I intended to do this last time. Maybe I did it up here. I did. I did it on this one, but I did not do it on the fine mills, which is even more important. So just as a reminder, you can change this and set the minimum cooking level for the particular task. And then this way it guarantees that um, Theo will n uh, will cook our meats at the moment anyways and Doug will only uh, butcher animals. Uh, we don't care what his cooking level is for that. Um, another possibility would be um, on that just a kind of a quick note something I don't really utilize a lot but I've seen other people using it so if I, maybe I mention it right now there's an ingredient radius it's set to 999 but if I do this you can see the outline so what you could technically do is you could set up well I only want my person to grab ingredients from within this radius so if I made it just a little bit bigger here we would see that it's uncovering our entire or should be yeah it's our entire refrigerator and some of the garden and a little bit of this thing down here which means that should we have had food way over here he wouldn't go over here to get it he would stay within this radius to get it um, at the moment that's not a problem I only have one real area for food anyway so it's not a big deal but um, if we did that would prevent them from going too far away from the stove to go get their ingredients or if there was like stuff out here that needs picked up. I'm, I'm not worried about it, like I said, at this point, but if we killed something out here and the meat was just laying, or if they you know, fell from their uh, pods or whatever and there was food laying out here, um, he could go get it right now, whereas if we set the minimum radius, he may not be able to do that. Okay, our batteries are full, so I'm going to toggle this off. And the batteries, I do believe, will um, lose power over time. Um, so they're still getting they're getting charged and used right now at the moment so um, but once it flicks them off if we watch I'm pretty sure that this number will start to go down over time but it's not very fast so you can keep your batteries charged up for quite a long time so I do believe they're still taking the rocks over here or the thanks so I'm going to go back in I'm going to set this one as preferred and then hopefully that'll we can put our blocks here and then they can still take them over here if they run out but right now we're going to be utilizing blocks fairly quickly so I don't think this will be a problem now what I can do is I can go ahead and come in here and see the plans there but I'm pretty sure that they're still actually there 
remember correctly, when I deconstructed one one time, I could see the plan still under it. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, because if the wall got destroyed and you forgot about it, you'd be able to see that and know, oh, I'm supposed to be putting something there. Um, let's see, what else could we be doing? We did get our prison set up. Of course, we don't have to put in it right now, but... I'll go ahead and I'm going to hunt that squirrel there. Who is my hunter? Rambler. Okay, that's right. And Rough Child is obviously my cr he's doing crafting right now, but he's my plant cutter and uh, cutter and grower mostly. Um, and there's just nothing to cut or grow right now, so that's why he's doing that. We get more people up and going. I'll put in extra benches for some of this stuff probably. Uh, stone blocks is something I really like to keep up and around. How healthy is this bear? Oh, he's just scratched. He's not really in danger of dying, unfortunately. Do we have a lot of berries and stuff? We do have some berries, so that's good. I'm not going to worry about picking wild ones, then. If you want to be one of the character names, do let me know. I'm totally willing to rename them. Uh, Rambler's Noble Rambler, he's taken. Um, but any of the other colonists? Okay, good. We did do this this time. Summer has begun. And we got this one. Yeah. Now I'm going to wait till they build this because otherwise they might start hauling stuff down here and I don't want them doing that yet. I'm not sure if I have claimed. I have not. This one. And this one. We'll go ahead and claim those. Alright, everybody is sleeping right now, so I think I am going to call that an episode. Maybe not the most exciting one. I had to get my bearings back again, but I'm going to go right into recording another episode, so um, we'll be doing better that time. Um, we've pretty much just started building our walls, and uh, we're going to see where we can go from there. We're going to have to continue that. Hopefully we can get some more stone blocks uh, created pretty quickly. It looks like we're already doing decent. Um, I think we had 180 to start with, and we've used way more than 40 of them up here, so um, yeah. So I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you back again next time.